One of the things that let us beat Rex the first time is I spent about two weeks scouting and trying to build a draft. And I just knew exactly what it is that we needed to do and what we needed to ban out and what we needed to pick. Literally, we draft kept ourselves. They they play pretty well. With our draft prep, we tend to have a general idea. We run through a lot of permutations of what other teams are going to be playing with. Realistically, that game is just a draft cap. Like we go R2, Zoe, R3, Varus, and they just pick Leona and Volibear. And from there, the game is just really unwinnable. As the game went further on, they kind of just scaled and beat us. So it was, it was a massive draft cap. We, we flame all four of our coaches for that one. Zinjiao jumping onto the Drake, trying to secure it, doesn't manage and to high. do it. No smite was available for that, and he gets taken down as a double kill goes over to Anti. A demon girl just sitting out here with very little health, so much CC. It's very clear just from their track record and how they play that Anti is a, a pretty pivotal member in their team. And even just from, you know, the videos we get to see or anti uh, interacting with the rest of the, the community. I think anti as a person is really awesome and definitely I think contributes a lot to some of the culture that RLS has and what you see in FOF today. As far as top lane goes in this league, I think that most of the top laners have a lot to work on in terms of fundamentals. I think that Joshi and Broccoli are the top laners that I respect the most. I think that Joshi is an incredibly strong laner and we're both our primary shot callers for our team. So I'm really excited to see how things go. And honestly, I don't know if it's going to go my way or his way, hopefully my way. I have zero worries about this bot lane. Escape and, and Demon Girl, they look good um, for some of the other teams, but against our bot lane and with the draft that they were given, they're basically given that entire lane on a silver platter and did almost nothing with it. So. Uh, looking for other members on the team to really step up other than their bot lane. Honestly, my overall expectations for the match, I don't know what to expect. I think that if War Leader can do what they want to do, we're going to be just fine and we should be just scaling up and doing what we want to do. But I don't know. Both teams have changed a lot over the season. Rex has been looking only stronger and I'm excited to see how things go. We have already shown that where you can outclass these players in lane and out of lane. So I think some of the copium needs to stop. We are by and far the best team in the league and our less are going to feel it. If I'm going to be completely honest, I haven't really been looking at Rex the last few weeks because we already got that win. I'm trying to get all my gym badges on every team and Rex was gem number one.